Welcome to the final episode of The Money Shot. Hi everyone. Yeah, I, uh, I feel like making this uh, sit down story time video. All right, so let's jump straight into this. It was our final day of shooting. Uh, we got up at around 8.30. It was a fairly slow start to the day, but we were waiting for the sun to rise and we had a two hour car journey to the first location. We got in the car around 9 a.m. and then we went on our way. Oh, and I forgot to mention that we also had a flight to catch that day and it was a six hour journey to the airport and we had seven hours to shoot. The plan was to drive through Iceland and stop off at each location if we wanted to make our flight. We had a one hour window. Time was our enemy today. What I constantly found amazing about this country is the fact that no matter what direction you looked in, there was always something beautiful to see. Aside from looking at gorgeous Iceland through our windows of the car, after two hours of driving, we finally arrived at our first location of the day, which was Black Diamond Beach. And it's safe to say that it did not disappoint. And when we got there, I was like, yeah, this is cool. Like, this is an all right location. And then I saw them, these huge wedges of like the clearest ice you've ever seen. Like, if ice could be stunning, this ice is actually stunning. So let's paint the scene here for you. The sun just came up. You can't see it because of clouds, but it's there. We've got to a very, very popular location. It's windy, it's cold, the light doesn't seem amazing, and we have a very limited amount of time to shoot. It's a black diamond beach because it's parts of ice, which are across the beach, and of course, black. So it's a pretty mental location. Uh, it's got super windy, but we just got a couple shots in, and they're already looking like banging. Shooting uh, two Sony's today, so we're shooting the A7R Mark III and the A7 Mark III. Um, just because we don't want to be changing uh, lenses, and we've got a short window of time. Uh, the weather's been crazy, so we just want to really make the most of every minute we've got. It kind of gets light right about now, it's 11. 11 a.m. and then it gets dark at about 4 so we don't have much time for light and traveling and getting there and getting our flight so we have to be really really efficient with our time today um, and shooting so we should probably stop talking and carry on. I think this place shocked me the most because I just wasn't expecting it. God, I just remember how cold I was on that beach. Like seriously, I look freezing because I am. But in spite of how cold it was there and the limited amount of time that we had, we were all in such high spirits. And I think that's just purely because we were living in the moment and enjoying the experience of being there. So after a really successful 15 minutes on the beach shooting, we were done, that was it. Time was up. The shots looked really good and we were super happy with them. It was time for the next location. And here is where something went slightly wrong. The microphone. I had no idea this had happened until I got back and I transferred all the files over to my laptop. That being said, it was only a handful of clips with no audio, so I got lucky. Anyway, spot number two. This one wasn't really planned. We kind of we were just driving along and Jack saw it and he knew that spot, so he was like, mm, yeah, that could work actually. Should we go have a look? And we did. The best part about the shot I remember is as we were walking up to it and climbing, uh, the sun came out for the first time. We hadn't seen it the whole time we were there and it just started peeking out and it just seemed a bit perfect. There were clouds just over the mountains behind us and it was almost like someone had said, you know what boys, you had it tough yesterday. Here, have this one on me. Mm -hmm. 
So Location 2 felt like a really big success. Everything kind of just came together at the right moment, it seemed. We got it all done very quickly again, very efficiently. And within 15 minutes, we were back in the car and on the road. And then in about an hour into this journey, we, we come across something that I didn't see on the way through the first time. And something that I have never seen in person in my life before. We drove past a glacier. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. It was one of the most incredible things I think I've ever seen. I was lost for words when I was looking at this. There's these little moments in life, I feel, where you just, you sit back and you just think, wow, what a world we live in. This moment, this moment right here, made me feel extremely grateful and humbled to be able to do what I do. I truly experienced what self-peace felt like here. I, I still get goosebumps from it now and a, a tad emotional. Off we continue on our adventure to our second last location. Alright, so we're at the last location now. Oh no, one but last. We're having to be really, really efficient with time now because we're running. We're running low on time. Kind of having to go up here. Just to get to the location. It's a cool cave. Hopefully, we can do all of this in a very, very tight time schedule. It's been a very eventful day. Been jam packed full of driving, trying to make it all the way back to the airport. But we're confident. I think we can do it. This is a pretty steep hill. <laughs> oh yeah, got it. Oh man, I remember that hill. I cannot tell you how steep that hill was. Oh, this is gonna be a good shot, I hope. <sighs> See how steep that was? <sighs> I'm supposed to be fit. I am. <sighs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. When we got into the cave at the top of this hill, you oh, could geez. pretty much see my immediate reaction. Wow. It really didn't look like much from the ground, but when we got in there and you turned around, that's where the magic was. Probably going to be on this, or is it going to be too sharp to do something? Um, I'm going to it's going to be over there, but I think it's... Okay. The end of that mountain will work. If it's safe to do it on the end, end of them, there's a rock, there's a mud bear. I think it's a, right there, on the side. When you talk about experiences, can you ever say that you did a plant over the edge of a cave with a massive drop right below you. Good. Oh. 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 Bring up the shadow so you can see a little bit of the cave until it's a cave. Yeah. Shots are done. We got there in the end, had to do a couple of things. I tried a plant, tried a handstand. I tried a straight plant as well, but the, the planches weren't really working, so we went with a handstand, and it's kind of like a uh, like a silhouette. I don't want to give it away, but yeah, it's kind of cool. But the view is just... Time to go. Pretty insane. Time to go. The way up wasn't so bad. Going down, a little bit scary. It is so steep, it's crazy. Just can't get over what Iceland looks like. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be, uh... <laughs> I am not going down there. Oh.
five minutes to get to this place, 15 minute shoot. Luckily it's just literally step out the car, run up and shoot. Yeah. And then we've got to the airport and just make it in time for the flight. <laughs> we are cutting it fine. This is our final location. We really, really need to nail this. We pretty much had one shot to do it. Cookie or Mm. Oh, it stinks up here. Last location. It's looking good. Hopefully, the last location is going to be the airport. <laughs> yeah, actually, forgot about that. Last location. We'll is the airport. have to do some more money shots, eh? No idea what this place is called, to be honest with you. You're going to have to ask Jack for that, because I would say it's called Diorale, but it's probably wrong. Whatever that is, we're there. It's pretty windy. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Gymnastics first. <laughs> oh, okay, yep, I see it. Wow. Wow. I keep saying, I pretty much say that at literally every location we get to because I'm not even joking, you've never been to Iceland. It's my first time. You need to go. Right? It's insane. We need to be at the airport in, we've got two hours. How long's the journey from here to the airport? Uh, it's like a three hour, four hour journey from here, isn't it? To the airport? Ish, yeah. Yeah, we need to be there. <laughs> we, need, we need to be there in two hours. Ish, three hours. And we got a four hour journey. You, you do the math here. It's gonna be interesting. Three hours, yeah. Three hours, yeah? Okay, so it's gonna be a tight squeeze, basically. It's gonna be worth it, don't worry. It will be worth it. We're not gonna miss the plane. I think he's not talking to you, he's talking to me. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's actually I'm talking, talking to me. To, he's, he's talking to me behind the camera. <laughs> we'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be worth it. Yeah. Who knows, if we stay in Iceland another day, what's the worst that's gonna happen? <laughs> uh, yeah, th this location was um, one of the... <laughs> I mean, the cave I thought was a little bit scary, but when we got here, the or how, however you say it, I probably butchered that name. You could immediately see how photogenic it was and it was like, damn, this is exciting. When Jack told me what to do, not gonna lie, that uh, scared me a little bit. A bit windy, bit of a steep drop, a little bit scared, not gonna lie. Pretty damn amazing though. I actually have a fear of heights and uh, well, <laughs> this drop was probably more than 100 meters. My foot's over the edge and on this 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 little little piece of uh, piece of land holding me up. Jack's working with the A7R3 and the A7 III. Both of these cameras have got eye autofocus, so when he does the really close-up shots of uh, like portraits and headshots, he gets those. Nails the eye auto focus every time because of the camera. Really excited to see the images, like the portraits, just to see that real sharp focus on my eyes. You can see how rushed we are in this shot. You know, Jack is literally running back and forth, switching lenses as quick as he can. Because one, it's really windy and it's cold, and two, like I said, we have the smallest gap for time now. It is getting to the point where we could almost miss our flight here. But when you're on this this tight of a time scale. You struggle to take things in, but at the same time, I think it was what made it quite enjoyable for me. You know, it, there was almost like a rush to it all. Now with this project of the money shot, there are three images at three different locations doing three different things. And in between that, we also needed some images to tell the story of our adventure and things like that. So throughout this adventure, we got some storytelling shots and uh, it's funny because some of those uh, images are actually my favorites because they really capture like the emotion and uh, what was going on. That was the last location of our Iceland trip. We had to make it back to the airport. Thankfully we did. We were a little bit late, but sacrificing a bit of time at the airport, it's not gonna be much of a problem for me. Got home and that was that. I don't think that I've ever been so inspired by something before in terms of 
filmmaking and, and vlogging. I really wanted to take this in a different direction to what I'm used to and what my audience is used to. Whether you guys like it, I, I, I don't know, but this is something I'm extremely passionate about and after this really, really makes me want to do a bit more of it. To be able to do something like this excites me. Looking back at all the footage, all of the memories that we created within those three days, they are memories of a lifetime that I will probably never forget. I can't describe what that feeling is like right now. This project, The Money Shot, is by far my most favorite thing that I have done to date on YouTube. Never experienced anything quite like this. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this three-part series. So without further ado, here are my three shots. I think that's all I have left to say. Other than, you guys know what to do. Make every day count. Go on an adventure and enjoy life. I'll see you in the next one.